Previously, I introduced the usage method of font awesome in Angular 5. However, because the environment of Angular has changed a lot, this time I'm going to introduce how to integrate font awesome into Angular material in Angular 7. In Angular, we often use Angular material. In Angular material, we can use map icon, but unfortunately, there are not so many registered icons. So, we need to consider how to use font awesome while using Angular material. Fortunately, regarding this method, Mr. Jun Koyama reported in Angular Material 6 uses icons with font awesome display it. Since the, the know-how has been released, I will introduce it based on this method. First, install Angular Material on Angular 7. After moving to the project directory to use, enter code dot and open the Visual Studio code. And in the terminal window, type ng add at angular slash material. Then, since the selection of the theme of the built-in is required, here select the default indigo pink. In the question as to whether or not to install homages, select yes. Next, choose yes to use animation or not. The installation will start. Next, install font awesome by npm. Type npm i at font awesome slash font awesome dash free. Please pay attention to spelling. The next word of at is font awesome, not font awesome. Next, open the style.scss file in the source, file, source directory and insert the import statement. Type at import at font awesome slash font awesome dash free slash css slash all dot s css. Next, edit the SMR file. Here we are going to edit the login page. First, set the button with map button and insert the icon of font awesome into this. The only way to do this is to set the font awesome's font set and font icon 
in the mat icon settings. We are going to set the Google icon here. I'd like to display it as it is, but before that, we need to import the module of Angular Material. Open the app.module.ts file and import the mat icon module and mat button module to be used here. Next, display the corresponding page in the browser. The Google icon is displayed. Next, we are going to display a Twitter icon. Before that, we need to check the font set and icon name of that icon. First, open the site of Font Awesome. That URL is fontawesome.com slash icons question mark D equal gallery. In this search box, enter Twitter. Select the icon you want to use from this search result icon and click. An HTML sentence will be displayed, so click on that part and copy it to the clipbar. Back in the VS Code, and edit HTML again. Copy Google staff and change it for Twitter. Change to the confirmed font icon name. Check with the brother. It's okay. Similarly, we are going to display Facebook icon. We are going to search Facebook icon on Font Awesome's site. Select the desired icon and copy the icon name to the clipboard. Back in the VS Code and edit HTML again. Copy the one for Twitter and change it for Facebook. When check in with the browser, the color becomes the same color as Twitter, so change it. Change the color from primary to warm.
Similarly, we're going to display GitHub icon. We're going to search GitHub icon on font awesome site. Select the desired icon and copy the icon name to the clipboard. Back in the VS Code and edit a similar game. Copy the one for Facebook and change it for GitHub. We are going to check with the browser. It's okay. Thank you for your watching.